Hi, class. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, How are you today? Yeah. I'm fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Teacher. Good teacher. Yeah. Antes de que empecemos la clase, tengo dos preguntas. Okay. Uh, eh, la primera es, mañana va a haber clase. Yes, tomorrow we're going to have class. Uh, tomorrow, so Friday, so tomorrow Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we finish. Okay? Okay. So we finish. Eh, y la, otra. la otra pregunta es sobre el link para el siguiente módulo. ¿Cuándo nos estarían enviando eso? Um, but, se lo voy a explicar en español. Um, Insafor pide que todos los módulos del, del año terminen antes del de 20 de diciembre. Entonces significa que eh, no podemos tener otro módulo este año. Este es el último módulo del año. Entonces. Um, el próximo módulo está empezando hasta, el, uh, hasta enero porque no se pueden dejar ni un curso eh, a, a media, pero tenemos que terminar los cursos completos. Entonces, como estaría empezando el próximo año, no sabría exactamente cuándo el próximo año estaría empezando. Um, tendríamos que esperar. Y um, lo que sí sé es de que tendrían que mandar los documentos, ¿verdad? Uh, para antes, uh, creo que antes que, que terminen años, para que puedan descalificar. Para el uh, vaya, gracias. Bueno, un gusto. Eh, ¿Any more questions? ¿No more questions? No? Okay, okay, good, excellent. All right, class, welcome to today's class. How are you today? Good? Very good. Yeah? Okay, excellent. Um, how was your day today? How was the day? You had a good day? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. Almost finished the week, right? So that's that's a, whew, a big relief. <laughs> Almost going to finish the week. Okay. All right, good. Um, yesterday we started talking about um, a questions using some and using any. So we were using those two those two words some and any for questions. Now, um, I asked you for homework to finish and make 10 questions. Did you make 10 questions? Yes, you made 10 questions. You wrote the 10 questions uh, like, um, do you have any uh, milk in your refrigerator? Do you have some, um, some rice, et cetera, et cetera. Do you, did you make the questions? Yes? Yes, everybody made the questions? Good, okay, good. Because right now what we're gonna do, I'm going to be assigning you in groups, okay? We're gonna be working with a partner, sorry, with groups, one group of three, okay? So one group of three people, and the other group of four people, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to be asking in the group questions, okay? So what you're gonna do, um, so for example, I'm going to show you on the board. Okay, can you see the board? Yes. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So you're going to be asking your partner questions like, Okay, so you're going to ask questions like this. So you're going to, you can ask your partner, for example, or your group, do you have Do you have any um, do you have any um, juice? I'm sorry, juice juice in your refrigerator? Do you have any juice in your refrigerator? And then there will be another person that is going to answer. Okay. They're going to say, another person can say, answer. You would say, somebody can say, no. I don't. Okay. And then another person can answer. And then somebody, a third person can answer and say, Yes, I do. Okay. And then another person, if you are in a group of four, okay, a person letter D can ask. Do, do, do you have, and then instead of using any, you can ask, you can ask with the word some, okay? For example, you can say, do you have some, You have some milk, okay. And then the the other the other people can answer, yes, I, uh, no, I don't, or yes, I do, okay. So you're going to be asking questions to your partner um, about the things that they have in the refrigerator or in their kitchen, and you're going to answer with. No, I don't, or yes, I do. Do you understand? It's clear? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. miss. Yeah, okay, good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to divide you into groups 
Um, and I'm going to put you into breakout rooms, okay? And you are going to work in small groups. Okay? So let me stop sharing. And I'm going to divide everybody into small groups. Um, so let's see, there are eight of you. So I'm gonna make two groups and I'm gonna give you about um, 10 minutes. If we need more time, or maybe I'll give you 12 minutes, okay? If you need more time, we'll see what we can do, okay? All right, so let's go to your groups. Hi, Vanessa, do you have any questions or any problems connecting to the group? Uh, Do you have some jogger uh, in the refrigerator? Uh, yes, I have uh, some juice in the refrigerator. Juice or yogurt? Uh, juice or juice. Yogurt. Uh, That's okay. Do you have some edge in the refrigerator? Uh, Yes, I do. Okay, that's uh, good. And you, Vane? Uh, no, it's me, okay? Welcome, Salvador. Um, Hello. We are, we are doing the... Uh, Hello. <clears throat> we're working in groups. We're asking our partners about the things that exist in our, our refrigerator, okay? So, <clears throat> hi. Hi. Um, so we're, right now you are working with your group to ask your group about uh, the things that exist in your refrigerator. So you can say, do you have some, um, juice or do you have any juice and your partners are going to say yes I do or no I don't okay and then you can ask your partner do you have some milk and your partner's going to say yes I do or no I don't okay okay all right perfect so right now just continue talking so I think I think uh William was asking that's okay, teacher. Yeah, so you can ask everybody. You can ask Ailey, uh, Vanessa, Salvador, okay? Everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, so I, I'm going to I'm going to pretend like pretend that I'm not here. Okay? Okay. But uh I'll say Que voy a preguntar. Me quedé, me he quedado perdido. <ríe> Sorry, teacher. ¿Alguien más que me ayude con una pregunta para hacer otra yo? 
you. Okay. So, for example, William, if I say to you, uh, William, do you have a uh, do you have tomatoes in your refrigerator? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. What about Ailey? Do you have tomatoes in your refrigerator? Yes, I do. Okay, good. And Vanessa, do you have tomatoes in your refrigerator? Vanessa? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Salvador, do you have any tomatoes in your refrigerator? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, good. So there you go. That, and so you ask everybody. Ask everybody, not just one person, but everybody. Okay? Do you have meal in the refrigerator? Yes, I do. El Salvador, do you have meal in the refrigerator? No, I don't. So now you can do a question, yes. Jenny. Jesse, ¿nos escuchas? No. Okay, Janet. Um, does she have some carrot? Um, no, she doesn't. Okay. So, um, Victor, are you here? Victor? Hola. Do you have some we weather? Some water? Do you have some water? ¿Cómo repite, repita la pregunta? Do you have some water? Victor, what happened? Are you there? <laughs> Victor, are you there? Well done. So I, I question you if you have some like this, but no uh, soda, you know, water. No, no te entiendo, la verdad. So water, just like uh, when I have some hot and I can, I, I want to drink some water. If you want some water. Victor, do you understand water? Victor, do you understand the word water? No, no, water, 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 agua. Agua. Yeah. So, so ja Janet is asking you, do you have water in the refrigerator? Do you understand, Victor, refrigerator? Victor, 
Victor, do you understand refrigerator? Victor, refrigerator? Oh, no. Do you know refrigerator? Victor, entiende la palabra I... refrigerator? I'm sorry. Okay, so Janet is asking you, do you have any water in your refrigerator? Si me gusta la agua helado. No. Do you have, have, what is have? What is have? Have is tener, right? Okay. So do you have water in your refrigerator? Oh, no, I do. Very good. Very, very good, Victor. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Continue, Jenny. You can ask other people. Okay. Uh, do, do we have some drinks? Um, Michelle? Repeat the question, please. Do we have some dream? No, I do. Don't, no. Creo que es, no, we don't, ¿verdad? Es que yo hice esa pregunta porque tengo la duda si se puede utilizar con, con dream, con sueño. Yo creería que sí, pero, pero no, no, no sabría. Do we have some dream? No sé si es oh. correcto. Alguna vez Teacher? La teacher. Dreams? Sí. Dreams or sueños? Sí, es correcto. Usar some dream? Yeah, but, uh -huh. yes, that's a fine. Okay. But, but uh, we're talking about the things in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Entonces yeah. cambio la pregunta. Uh, do we have any milk? Yes, I do. Good. Uh, continue. Continue like that. I will go in and work with the other group, okay? But continue. Excellent. Very good. Hago pregunta a Janet, si gusta. Okay. Would you like Y any, lo ocupas mayor parte para, las, para hacer las preguntas. Entonces se podría usar Zoom porque normalmente se mantiene hielo. Sí, no todos bien. tenemos esa costumbre. O, o creo sí. que las dos se podrían utilizar. Sí, las dos son válidas. Porque, o sea, eh, yo puedo decir que sí, sí la, tenemos la costumbre, pero en realidad no. No todos tienen la costumbre de. Uh -huh, es cierto. Por ejemplo, hay unos que les gusta tener agua, solo agua helada y los otros no, que solo ponen los cubos de hielo y ya se la aplican al, al agua tibia, al agua tiempo. Va, pero... No sé. Cambiando, ya terminaron en, en la web. ¿Cómo van con sus recursos? Yo me quedé en el, la sesión 4, quizás como a la mitad voy todavía de eso. En serio. ¿Y tú, Heidi? Yo sí, ya lo terminé. Ah, oh, ok. <risa> no, yo, uh, voy por la sesión 5, pero de casi termino. Yo, yo igual voy por la 5, pero no sé si el que es, pero me, me cuesta que carguen. Que carga la sección, digamos, 
que pase a la otra, aunque lo conecte a la red Wi-Fi o los datos, sí cuesta. Creo que por tal vez las horas donde uno se conecta, muchos mucho alumnos están conectados a esa hora y la plataforma se sobrecarga. Puede ser. ¿Por qué a mí no me pasa eso? Solo me pasa que a veces no me lo registra como que ya lo hice. Pero lo sé desde, me pasa? desde Google o, la, o desde la plataforma o lo sé desde la, desde la aplicación. No, desde eh, navegador. Ah, okay. Sabía que la aplicación. Sí, porque en, en, la, en la plataforma, en la aplicación estaban como, era un, como un, un mod. Todavía lo estaban como en prueba, estaba la plataforma, la, la aplicación. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo empecé con la, plat con el, con la aplicación y no me registraba que había visto los videos, solo que hacía los, los exámenes, los knowledge check. Lo demás no me lo registraba que miraba videos, la lección, nada. Solo los no lección me iba marcando el chequecito verde. Eh, yo, yo tuve ese problema y yo uso el navegador. Y bueno, la aplicación intenté usarla, pero no pude. No, no me deja ni siquiera iniciar sesión. Y entonces con el navegador me ha tocado. Y, pero sí me ha pasado el mismo problema, que a veces yo avanzo en la sesión y cuando vuelvo a ingresar, me parece como que no, no he hecho nada. Hmm. Y es Bien. el problema de la plataforma. Esa es una y la, la otra es la sobrecarga que tiene tal vez la, la, la capacidad que tiene la plataforma no es para todos los estudiantes que, que tiene Insafor. If you are if you are having problems with the platform, you can talk to the um, the te, the technology the, the um, technology department in uh, for for English corporativo yeah so you can tell them yeah do you understand so so did you but si tienen problemas con la plataforma informenlo con el departamento eh, de tecnología y de con de inglés corporativo. Infórmenlo para que les puedan ayudar. ¿Ok? Ok, dicho. Okay. Sí, porque yo, yo tenía el problema cuando estaba en la aplicación, pero ahora es solo el navegador, por eso. Okay. All right. Uh, are you finished with the, with the activity? Yes. Yes, ok. All right. We're going to finish, we're going to Close the sessions and we'll see each other in the main room, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're all back. Um, okay, so we had the opportunity of asking questions to our partners. Um, acuérdense que la, la idea con esto es de que tengan lo, la, que puedan tener la oportunidad de hablar cuanto ustedes puedan. Uh, acuérdense que ustedes no tienen digamos, la opción en la, en la plataforma de estar eh, hablando con alguien, ¿verdad? Eh, pueden, ustedes pueden practicar lectura, pueden practicar gramática, pueden eh, practicar eh, la escritura, eh, pueden ver cosas auditivas, pero es para poder hablar, no. Entonces, esta es la manera como ustedes van a poder tener ese, ese, esa práctica, ¿verdad? A través de las clases eh, en Zoom. Entonces, es importante que ustedes 
a, o sea, cuando ustedes puedan, traten siempre de conectarse a las clases, ¿verdad? Y puede participar en ellas, aunque usted no, tal vez tenga un poquito de pena o siente que se me equivoco y todo. No, o sea, no se preocupe por eso. O sea, todos aquí estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Y de eso se trata. Pero trate siempre de mantenerlo eh, cuanto se pueda en inglés, porque solo así van a poder, eh, van a poder realmente eh, mejorar, ¿verdad? Es su, su, su capacidad eh, de pronunciación y a fluidez, etcétera, etcétera. Okay? okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to be um, learning about the topic of frequency adverbs. Okay, so eh, when we are talking about activities, we do activities in many different um, uh, like we do it different frequencies. So sometimes we do it all the time, okay? Uh, like 100% of the time. For example, maybe we brush our teeth, right? We brush the teeth always, oh. all the time, 100% of the time, yeah? So, um, or you eat, right? You eat 100% of the time. But oh, there are other activities that you don't do very often. For example, uh, going to the dentist. <clears throat> do you go to the dentist? Do you go to the dentist? Yes, Janet, you go to the dentist. Yeah. What about the others? Do you go to the dentist? Do you go yes. to the dentist? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, very good. Excellent, Michelle. What about you, William? Do you go to the dentist? Yes. Good. Uh, Excellent. And Salvador, do you go to the dentist? Yes. Good. Excellent. And uh, what about uh, Victor? Do you go to the dentist? Yes. Yes? Okay. And twice, a, twice a year, yeah. Teacher, twice a year. The best of line. Good. Twice a year. Excellent. Good. Vanessa, what about you? Do you go to the dentist? Yes. Good. Okay. And and Yessi? Do you go to the dentist? Yes, yes you go to the dentist? I think Jesse it doesn't listen us. Oh, she can't hear us. Jesse um, no se escucha. Tal vez puede escribir algo ahí en el chat para ver si, si nos escucha por lo menos. Porque quiero asegurarme que todos me, me pueden escuchar. Maybe not. Maybe she's having problems. Okay. What about Jenny? Do you go to the dentist? Yes. Good. Okay, good. So everybody goes to the dentist, right? But you don't go to the dentist very often. You don't go to the dentist every day, right? It's not 100% of the time. So what we're going to be talking today is about uh, frequency of adverbs and that those frequency of adverbs help us to say how often the frequency that we do activities okay so let me share and tell me if you can see this yes, yes? Okay, good. All right, so these are some vocabulary words that we use to talk about frequencies. So 100% of the time, we say always. 90% of the time is usually. 
80% of the time, generally. 70% of the time, often. 50% of the time, sometimes. Sometimes it's with an S, okay? So don't forget, sometimes it's with an S, okay? Um, then we have a 30% of the time, sé que está, quizás no se mire muy bien, pero, okay, so 30% of the time, occasionally. Okay. Occasionally. Yes, this is occasionally. 15% of the time is seldom, seldom. 5% rarely, 0% never. Okay, so if you if if zero percent of the time this activity, you go you say never. For example, how often do you visit the moon? How often do you visit the moon? Do you understand the moon? Never. 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 Yeah. The moon. Let me let me write let me write down this. Okay, so how often? How often do you visit the moon? Okay, so that's the question. How often do you visit the moon? Okay, do you understand? Do you understand this question? Yes. Yeah, so the moon, the moon is la, la luna. So how often do you visit the moon? Never. Never, right? Zero percent of the time, right? Unless you are an astronaut and nobody here is an astronaut. So you would say never, okay? All right, okay. So, uh, ay, ay, ay. Estoy tratando de, de ser que no se corten las palabras. Um, okay. Uy, siempre se corta, no sé por qué. Vamos a darle un poquitito más. A ver si no se corta. Ahí estamos. Vamos a ver. Sí, ahora ya no se corta. Ya. Yeah. Ok, perfect. Ok, so, how often do you visit the moon? Ok, now, um, see, if you notice, there are many, there's many, many vocabulary here. So I'm going to say the words and I want you to repeat, okay? So repeat after me, always. 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 Good, remember there is an S at the end, always. Not always. 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 Mm -hmm. always. Us this one is usually. 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 Excellent. This one is generally. 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 Good. Generally. Generally. So we pronounce this more like three syllables, okay? We pronounce it like three syllables. Generally. 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 Perfect. Now, this one here, this one is pronounced two ways. There are two pronunciations for this word. It depends. The first pronunciation is for American pronunciation. The American English, you pronounce it often. 
Of thing. Of fun. Of fun. Of thing. Good. Notice that in a, in the American English, we eliminate the T. The T is silent. You don't pronounce the T. No, no pronunciation of the T. Okay. But British English, you say often. 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 Uh -huh. Often. 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 Good. Okay. So remember, there are two pronunciations, and the two pronunciations are valid. So you can say often, often, often. or often. Often or often. Often or often. Correct. Very good. All right. Now this one here, fifty percent, we say sometimes. 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 And you always pronounce that s. Okay. Don't forget the s. He notado que muchos alumnos se les olvida que cuando lo escriben de poner la s al final. Que es no es sometimes. Es sometimes. 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 Good. This word is occasionally. 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 Okay, so this word has, this word is pronounced, okay, so it's occasionally. Now, um, so the syllables are this. We say, oh, oh no, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Okay, John, 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 not, so this word contains five Occasionally. Occasionally. But the stress, the stress, the stress is a, in, in English, we call it the stress. In Spanish, we call it the okay, occasionally. Okay. The stress is on the second. A. Okay. Stress is in K. Occasionally. 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 Good, excellent. All right. Any questions? Okay. Sure. No, it's clear? Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's continue with this one. This word over here oh, is, we pronounce it seldom. 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 Good. Okay. And this one is rarely. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. So this one is a little bit of a tongue twister, right? It's not, it's rare, rare, rarely. 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 Good. Excellent. Rarely. And Rarely. this one is never. 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 Never.
teacher? Yes. And hardly ever? Yeah, hardly ever it exists as well. It hardly ever is like, um, I would say hardly ever is like seldom. Um, it's in the same category. Okay, yeah. so I would say hardly, hardly ever. Okay, so that is another possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say hardly ever. Okay, uh, it hardly ever means. Um, casi siempre. No, casi, casi nunca. nunca. Casi nunca, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, okay, so it's Sem similar. It's similar to seldom. Okay. Yeah. Seldom is rara vez, verdad? Uh huh. Rare. No, that's uh, seldom is. Uh huh. Uh, no, seldom is, is is similar to hardly ever, and rarely is rara vez. Rarely, eh, rara, rara vez, rara vez, raramente. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Good. Now, uh -huh. how do you form, how do you make sentences? If you notice, um, do you hear we have the sentences? Everyone always speaks well of Mark. She usually fed her cat cheap cat food. A uh, okay. sentence normally has a subject and a verb. I used to often take walks along the road. Married people sometimes wish they were single. I occasionally eat meat. My father seldom watches TV at night. He rarely makes a mistake. I never forget a face. Okay? So these are some examples. Now, what I want you to notice is the position of the of the uh, of the frequency adverb. Okay, so if you notice the position, like we say, always, okay. over here we have usually okay. 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 All right. so usually here we have normally okay then we have often or often, okay. and then we have sometimes, okay, and then we have occasionally, okay, seldom, rarely, and never, okay? Now, if you notice the frequency adverbs go after the subject, it goes after the subject, okay? So, um, so the subject, uh, for example, would be, um, Okay. So we have, for example, everyone. Okay, that is the subject. And here, what is the subject here? I want you to tell me, what is the subject in here? Uh, everyone? No, in this one. This one is she. Good. The subject is she. 
Okay. Then over here, what is the subject? In this one. What is the subject? What is the subject? The sentence. A sentence. sentence. Very good. A sentence. Mm -hmm. Good. Over here? Hi. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. And over here? Married people. Yes. Married people. Mm -hmm. Good here? They. They. No, in this one. I. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Here, in this one. My father. My, my father. father. My father. Good. Okay. And this one. He. He. Good. And I. this one. I. I. I, very good. Okay, so if you notice, the frequency adverb goes after the subject. After the subject. Okay? And then, um, let's see. And then we have the verb. The verb is speak. Okay, yes. Speak. Voy a ponerlo un poquito más. Creo para que se note mejor. Vamos a hacer este. Okay, so we have speaks. Okay, this one is fed. Speak, fed. Okay, this one is has. This one, take. Mm -hmm. Then, wish. Wish. Then, eat. Then, My watches. 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 Mm -hmm. Make, I forget. Make. Make. And finally, forget. Good. And, and this one? Forget. Forget. Okay. So, in general, the frequency adverb goes between, entre medio, between. So it goes between the subject and the verb. Subject and verb. Subject, verb. I was. Subject, verb. Subject, verb. Subject, verb. Subject, verb. Subject and verb. Subject, verb. And subject, verb. So all of it goes in between. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, good. Every time, teacher. Sorry? Every time. Todo el tiempo. No. No, not todo el tiempo. <laughs> but <laughs> not, not always, not always, but uh, generally. Yes. Generally, okay? Yeah, so the rule, the rule is not always, but generally. Si sí, hay, hay algunas excepciones a esta regla, pero ahorita no tienen que preocuparse por eso, ¿ok? En este momento lo único que necesitan es saber eso y después más adelantito van a ustedes ver en qué ocasiones no se le pone así, pero ya después van a ustedes saber eso, ¿ok? What's important is in this moment, you put it between the subject and the verb. Okay, so the question that you always ask is this. This is the question. How often do you, okay, that would be the question. How often do you, okay? In Spanish, you say, Juan a menudo, blah, 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 okay? So that would be in Spanish, right? Juan a menudo. Okay, o con cuánta frecuencia, blah, 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 blah. Que tan a menudo. Ajá, o que tan a menudo. Okay, um, that would be in Spanish. That would, that would be the question, right? So, and here you say, 
how often do you, and then you can say, um, wait a momentito. Ah. No quiere colaborar conmigo esta cosa. Okay. Ah, creo que ya sé por qué. Okay, let me just vamos a hacerlo para acá entonces. No quiere colaborar de la otra forma. Oh, pero bueno, sí. Bueno, it doesn't matter. Okay, so how often do you, and then you put this, the, the, um, you, you would put the, over here, eh, in this part here, you would put the, the verb, okay? Okay, for example, how often do you go to the movie theater? How often do you um, work in the evening, how often do you um, buy clothes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So over here, in this part here, we would have the verb, okay? Now, when you are making the, when you're making sentences, you would say, for example, I, I and then we can say I sometimes and then we can make the, the verb for example I sometimes go change that. Go. See to the movies. To the movies. To the movie theater. Okay. That's an example. Okay. Entonces, yo lo que quiero de tarea es de que ustedes me dan cinco preguntas con how often do you y con el verbo y eh, me hagan diez oraciones de cosas que ustedes hacen con la frecuencia, ¿okay? como este. Cinco preguntas de how often do you y diez oraciones de las cosas que ustedes hacen y con la frecuencia. ¿okay? All right, guys, that will be all for today. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Nos veremos el día de mañana. No se olviden que mañana hay clase. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.